This study is about how the arm entry is a critical factor in freestyle performance. In a previous study, we found that most females completed the arm entry with the hand above the shoulder. Most males completed the arm entry with the hand at the same level as the shoulder. Here is an example of the typical arm entry for females. Here is the typical arm entry for males. And here is an effective arm entry because the arm is in position to immediately begin generating propulsion. We defined the exposure time to shoulder stress as the time from the completion of arm entry until the hand is below the shoulder. We found the exposure time to be substantial. For males, it was over one-tenth of a second, and for females, it was over one-quarter of a second. The difference between males and females in exposure time was significant. In other research, the entry phase was defined similarly to exposure time. The entry phase was found to substantially decrease with an increase in swimming velocity. The index of coordination is another critical factor in freestyle performance. A zero index of coordination is when the entry arm is in position to begin generating propulsion at the same time that the opposite arm finishes generating propulsion. A negative index of coordination is when the entry arm does not begin to generate propulsion when the opposite arm finishes generating propulsion. A positive index of coordination is when the entry arm begins generating propulsion before the opposite arm finishes generating propulsion. The same study that found that the entry phase decreased with an increase in swimming velocity, also found that the index of coordination increased with an increase in swimming velocity. These are the results of one study, but there are many studies that support these findings. So it appears that swimmers have found that to swim faster, they need to decrease the entry phase and increase the index of coordination. However, they need help. The purpose of this study was to determine the effect of the arm entry position on the exposure time to shoulder stress, the index of coordination, and swimming velocity. It was hypothesized that swimmers that complete the arm entry with the hand level with the shoulder would have a lower exposure time, a higher index of coordination, and a faster swimming velocity than swimmers that completed the arm entry with the hand above the shoulder. The participants in the study were university swimmers, 70 males and 38 females. The swimmers were outfitted with pressure sensors. The cables were strapped to the swimmer's arms so that they could swim free without interference. Pressure sensors measured the pressure differential between the palm of the hand and the back of the hand. Force was calculated using the surface area of the hand. 
Each swimmer sprinted 20 meters to the wall. Data were captured over the last 10 meters. This is an example of captured data. The force curves for the left hand are on the top, and the force curves for the right hand are on the bottom. The video image shows a typical female entry with the hand above the shoulder. It takes her about two tenths of a second to get her hand below the level of her shoulder. There was a significant difference in the distribution of swimmers by sex and arm entry position. Over 70% of the females completed the arm entry with the hand above the shoulder. Less than half of the males completed the arm entry with the hand above the shoulder. For both males and females, the exposure time to shoulder stress was significantly less for the swimmers who completed their arm entry with the hand level with the shoulder. Males and females who completed their arm entry with the hand level with the shoulder had an identical exposure time. For both males and females, the index of coordination was significantly higher for the swimmers who completed their arm entry with the hand level with the shoulder. Males and females who completed their arm entry with the hand level with the shoulder had an identical index of coordination. For both males and females, swimming velocity was faster for the swimmers who completed their arm entry with the hand level with the shoulder. The difference for males was significant. The magnitude of the effects were substantial, particularly for the exposure time to shoulder stress and for the index of coordination. The results suggest that adjusting the arm entry so that the hand is level with the shoulder can improve performance. The real potential, however, is likely from completing the arm entry with the hand below the shoulder to minimize exposure time as much as possible. It is recommended that swimmers modify their arm entry to reduce exposure time to shoulder stress, increase the index of coordination, and increase swimming velocity.